So I'm outside Busby's in LA. The LA Spurs have actually got a Legends Night with Ledley King and Darren Anderson. along with Tottenham Hotspur and Busby's and we will not forget our special sponsor Heineken also from Busby's we want to recognize um, Donald and Ryan uh, owners and managers of the place so we want to thank you very much for giving this place to us we're going to have our special legends guests Mr. Ledley King and also Mr. Darren Anderton but before we do that, I'm going to bring up a few people on the stage that helped make tonight the special night that it's going to be and some of the activities that you've enjoyed. I'm going to bring up our current Spurs chairman here at LA Spurs, Mr. Brian Moore. Give it I'm going to bring up Mr. Jonathan Rosenthal. Miss Kate Sukum, our webmaster, mistress, whichever she likes to be called. And also Mr. Mark Branduelos, our club secretary. In absentia are Greg Palmer and Mr. Bill Crippen. I'm going to hand the mic briefly to our chairman here to make a couple words before we proceed. Hello everyone, I'm Brian Moore from Dagenham in Essex. This year for Essex. Anyway, uh, when we started, when Rolf started this 13 years ago, nobody when we all used to meet at Rolf's house or Greg's house or one of the pubs, we never thought it would become this. And we just want to thank everyone. We love Tottenham and uh, I'll pass the mic to Jonathan. Welcome everyone, especially so many who came from so far, uh, from Hong Kong and from New Zealand. T-shirts are on sale for $20 in the lobby. Don't forget that too. And of course, this night would not be remiss with a certain Mr. Graham Raj. Graham and I, come on up, Graham. Graham started the LA Spurs with me way back when in the late 90s. So Graham, say a couple words. And then, wait a second everyone, Graham is going to start us in the singing. The what? I don't want to talk as loud as Rob, so I want everyone to kind of hear me, so I'm going to talk a little bit softer. I've got so many things I want to say. I could be up here for three hours. I'm telling you right now, but I can't, so I'm going to try and cut things short. But, um, these are the kind of nights that I love. I love seeing all of this. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm old school. I used to go back when it was kicking off in the day. I used to be rocking in the streets of Tottenham in 17. I don't, and I'm not, I'm not scared, I'm not, I'm not, I used to be part of it. We used to be in there, we used to be chasing fans down the ice street, kicking them. And it was all good. And, um... Alright, alright. Well, I'm going to keep talking. Anyway. Sing a song. We're, we're going we're to sing a... Um, oh, we're the great famous shot, no more spur, and we come from White Hart Lane. And everyone in football knows we always play the same. Oh, we love the team, we love the town, and so the store is told. That we're the famous Tottenham, we're the greatest of them all. It's up to you, you nearly wants to play the top the way. Oh, there's half the teams in half the towns and some are great and small. But we're the top the most, but we're the greatest of them all. Thank you, Graham. Graham, 
Graham is legend. Graham is a legend around the world. Thank you, Graham. All right, I'm going to bring up Mr. Stefan Shirazi. Mr. Stefan Shirazi is an internationally known video man. He's an interviewer. He's a Tottenham freelance writer. He's all of the above. Here he is, Mr. Stefan Shirazi. Thank you very much. Are you excited about this? Should be. You should be. And I think we should. Uh, no more waffle from me. Let's get the boys up here, shall we? Why don't we get Mr. Ledley King and Mr. Darren Anderton to so please get the up here, gentlemen? Fantastic. Let's sign up. Can we have some more flings? Come on, cheer! I know you can do better than that. Come on, let's give a big shout for these boys. Come on. So we're going to have a little chat up here. Then we're going to have some questions going on. Absolutely there, Stefan. Okay, wonderful. Uh, I think he's actually got two knees after checking, but... Alright, chaps, uh, you know, let's, we're in America, tell us about the first time either of you came to America. Yeah, so I came to America in 14, played the Dallas Cup uh, for Southampton schoolboys, uh, played three games there, couldn't watch a game of football, soccer on the TV, I remember watching the World Cup there, Italian 90, they were having commercial breaks in the middle of the game, it was ridiculous, so to see the way that the the game has expanded over here, it's incredible. Uh, I'm of course spending a lot of time in California myself at the moment, so I get to go watch the games down in San, up in San Francisco. Great. Yes. And Danny Coyles. Absolutely. Danny Coyles indeed. Uh, and it's so amazing to see how many Spurs fans are in California. It's incredible. I can't believe it. Yeah. 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 your first time over here, and you know, the same thing. Tell us about your America. First and foremost, I'd like to thank everyone for turning up today. What a, what a great turnout! And uh, the most fit, naturally, just incredible, incredible athlete. Yeah, Gareth, Gareth Bell. Gareth Bell is an incredible, incredible athlete. Uh, naturally, could just run up and down all day long. It's funny, when we look at the Curry squad, I think your opinion on this, it looks to me, and I'm sure to all of us, that Christian Eriksen seems to be able to just go and go and go. I mean, you know, when we look at this current squad, who would you look at some of that guy is just energised by people like that? So many players in the, in the squad, and the, most of them aren't even here. I mean, Christian Eriksen is just class. The, the game is easy for him, so every time he goes out on the pitch, he can keep going. Sometimes I watch him and I think he's got a sweat on him and he finds it going so easy. An absolute talent. Uh, probably, probably underrated in a way around the country. I think uh, you know, Spurs fans realise just how good he is and teams make it very difficult for Spurs when they come to Wembley or to White Hart Lane. And it's his magic in that final third that, that wins games. You know, we went one nil down to the drop of free kick and went with it at half time one nil down, but we kept believing it. You know, we played we played well in the first half and we thought if we continued to, to keep creating chances, you know, eventually we'd be able to score one and and we did, we got a penalty in the end and Berber, Berber stuck it away. And I think that everyone really believed that we was gonna win. Once he stuck that away, Berber for the first time showed emotion. You know, he, 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 his reaction after scoring a penalty was great and I think that rubbed off on all the players. You know, we, we, uh, the fans on, on the day were unbelievable. You know, we felt like it was a home game for us, and uh, you know, it was obviously got the we obviously got the winner when Woody. I don't know if it went off his nose or wherever he came off, but we didn't care. Uh, just remember the final whistle, an unbelievable feeling to, to finally 
want something for the club that you know I love, I love playing for. Um, so yeah, you know, it's an unbelievable experience, I'm my most enjoyable time in the Spurs shirt for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. players that maybe some weren't quite at that level so I think that comes into it as well um, too many changes in managers uh, and what we have now on Pochettino is a real trust in the manager that comes from above that comes from the fans comes from the players and that's what you need I believe I believe it's down to so much of it is down to the manager you know he's created uh, a different mentality at the club you know the, the the team spirit, for one, is great, but you know, the team want to be winners. They really believe in, in, in themselves. And uh, obviously, he's, a, he's South American. Uh, you know, he's a tough guy when he needs to be, and he's created that that, that within the team. So, you know, I think that's why everyone is playing above above themselves. You know, there's no, there's no one in the team that doesn't play above their levels. And I think that, that manager creates that, and that probably didn't happen when, when we played. You know, you couldn't say every player was playing. Their highest level, you know, we, we had inconsistencies. As I said, Pochettino doesn't allow that, so you know, it makes a difference. Yeah, there'll be a confidence up, I think. That's probably what it comes down to with this new, with the new man, with the manager now, and the players that are in the squad. You can't be comfortable. You can't be guaranteed to play. You, you've got to do it week in, week out. I say in my day, first five or six years I was there. There are certain players that would get into a comfort zone. They knew no matter how they played, they would be playing next week. Game Stan ever saw was 1946. Let's give it up for Stan. You know, you know, you know. You know, you know. He said the favourite player was Dave Mackay. Oh yeah, Ronnie Burns. No question. Okay. Thank you, Stan. Well, for me, the, the injuries were just a, a real frustration. Uh, I mean, you think that, that, that stupid, stupid name came out because I was put one of the first on the team sheet for England right before Euro 96. Am I going to play? Am I not going to play? It became big news. Uh, thankfully, I, I made the tournament. It happened again two years later. I guess in a way it's a compliment to the media every week wants to ask when I was going to be fit when I, instead of talking about how Spurs were playing. But it took, for me, it was, it's, a me it's a media thing. Uh, it's, it's garbage. I, I, of course, I, I hated missing any game, but I had a spell of two or three years where it was an absolute nightmare. I would do anything to play so many more games. Of course, I played lots and lots of games. People played a, a lot less in their careers. But it, it was just the name that came out and it stuck. Darren, didn't you play more Premier League games than the, the Tottenham player in history, from what I understand? Yeah, I believe so, which is very nice. It's nothing worse for players than when they're injured, you know. It's, it's, really, it's really difficult, and it seems to be, we were talking about this the other day, that, that when players don't have a long-term long, long -term injury, they come back and they seem to, you know, overcompensate different different parts and it seems to be the beginning of, of problems for some people. It's very difficult. It seems like at times there's nothing you can do, you know. Uh, you get one injury right and then something else pops up. So. Here's the moment this is looking to Los Angeles. Speak up Marlene, speak up. Welcome to Los Angeles. Can you give us a last little feel about your coaching badges? And I'm sorry I was never able to find a different person last year in Nashville, but I have a different person now. 